Hi, I'm Jordan Smith, and I'm here with the co-founder of Voight Smith Innovation, David Voight. We want to tell you a little bit about our story and why Voight Smith Innovation exists and how we got there. So it all started at 2 a.m. on a negative 20 degree night in southern Minnesota. I'm driving the truck, the salter's not working, customers have to be served, so I say, David, can you please jump in the back of the salter and shovel it out by hand because it's not working. That was the last night that we ever did that because I challenged Dave with, let's come up with a better way. I had been researching liquids. There was very little information out there. This is before the contractor liquid movement that's happening now. So we pretty much started from scratch. I said, David, I have no idea how to build this stuff. I don't know where to buy it. I can't afford it even if I can buy it. I need you to build, design and build it right now. A brine maker and a brine sprayer. So what'd you do? Well, I think it's truly important to, to stress the fact that we had a true passion for what we were doing. Even through all of these hardships and annoyances, we weren't willing to give up on what we were doing. So when Jordan presented me the idea, we did invest a tremendous amount of time with it. And if you look at five years from that point, where we became, we found a viable solution that solved the pains that we had at that moment. It was a rocky road, it was a lot of work to get there, we started with a small, simple tote brine maker with a herbicide sprayer converted on a truck. Saw tremendous results and knew that we had to continue pushing forward on this. And I think it should be known that we never intended to start a manufacturing company. That was never even in the discussions. I, we just were building this stuff to use for ourselves. We just happened to build something that was good enough that it's like, oh, well, this is good. Let's make something better. Still not thinking about starting a manufacturing company. And then we got to the next level. And it was like, well, liquid works really well for us. This equipment's working really well for us. No one is selling equipment like this. Dave, do you want to start a company? We were continuously monitoring the market, looking for a manufacturing company to step up and provide something that we were looking for, but no one was taking the task. So we decided that we would start a manufacturing company to provide the level of equipment that the market needed. That is where Voight Smith Innovation stemmed from. That is how we became a Metal Plus dealer today with our alignment of the core values of the company of high quality, more efficient, and overall improvement of the process of snow removal and de-icing in general. I think it should just be known, guys, that we, we uh, truly came from a contractor background. We're still a contractor. We still have a commercial snow and ice operation in southern Minnesota. David and I regularly go out in the middle of the night. We use this equipment. And the reason we do that is because we can't give you better results if we can't produce them ourselves. So being an end user manufacturer, a true end user manufacturer means we need to continue being an end user. If we're not, we lose that continuous learning and improvement that we've been able to achieve over the years. The bottom line is through continuous learning and improvement, we've been able to increase the efficiency of our snow operation and the quality of our results. We now are passing that on to our customers, so come along on our journey.